Hello, all of my fabulous, beautiful people, and how are you all doing today? I hope that you're all doing very, very well. So today, I am going to be talking about Ekinkar, the cult, or the religion, I guess, if you want to call it that. If you have not seen my live stream about it, please take a moment and go watch that first as we go into what the belief system is a little bit more. But today, I would like to read one of their books. So without further ado, let's just roll that cult intro and we'll get right into it. see here on the ekinkar.org website, they do have an area where you can get an e-booklet series, which of course I have gotten. I have also ordered a couple of their real books that I have in the flesh, if you will, in the book flesh. So it says Exol Adventure e-booklet series. Looking for a burst of spiritual sunshine for secrets of surviving and thriving in these times? Each dynamic e-booklet in this series offers a quick tour of a key facet of spiritual living. Explore amazing stories, insights, questions, and answers, and an inspiring spiritual exercise you can try today. These short, mobile-friendly PDFs cover a wide range of spiritual interests and needs, a delight to the eye and uplifting to every heart. So, I mean, let's see if they're right. The one that we are going to be reading through today is called Spiritual Stress Relief. We know that I am one stressed bitch. So because of that, I thought this would be a great one to start. And it says, the mind can overreact to the rush of everyday living leaving us on edge and out of sorts. There is a way to connect with the healing current of spirit. Find stories, inspiration, techniques, and more in this Exol Adventure e-booklet. Through easy practices, you can regain balance and thrive. And it's also available in French. At the front of the book, we have a beautiful Harold Klemp quote. It says, The purpose of divine love is to encourage your independence and ability to survive and thrive. I feel like I am reading the motto for the MLM Thrive. Page one, what is an ex-soul adventure? Spiritual experiences touch us at the very core of our being. You are soul, an eternal, unique, divine spark of God. Am I also the eagle here? As soul, you have the God knowledge within you. A soul adventure can awaken you to more of the love, wisdom, and creative powers already within you and in the most natural and extraordinary ways. The word Ekinkar means co-worker with God. It is the path of spiritual freedom. So apparently if you're not in the Ekinkar cult, you are not a co-worker with God, and you are on the wrong spiritual path. This e-booklet offers, as in the one that we're reading right now, inspiration, stories, tips, and spiritual exercises for exploring a unique perspective on spiritual stress relief. Do not drink every time that I say the word spiritual. I do not want anyone dying from this video. Meet Harold Klepp. Harold Kalep is a spiritual leader of Ekinkar, the Mahanta, the living Ekmaster. His role is to awaken the knowledge and love for the divine things that are already in your heart. He gives spiritual help via talks and writings in the dream state and in the spiritual worlds. He writes in the dream state. 
I guess. Look, there he is. Peaceful living is to realize everything that comes into your life is for the good. This is definitely the man I want to trust with my entire life. So this is a religious cult in the sense that they do technically practice a Christian religion here. However, it is very much a cult of personality surrounding Harold Klemp here as they look to him as if he represents God. I even say this. So one could argue that this is also a cult of personality worshiping Harold Klemp and his ideas and his religious or spiritual teachings. And I think you're going to pick up on the same thing as we go through the rest of this very short book, because it is all about what Harold thinks. But old Harold. The tensions of living. There was once a Zen master. Let me guess, it's going to end up being Harold. Sorry, I, I don't mean to do any spoilers here. He had a small band of followers who looked to him for guidance. One of them had a small son. This son wanted a horse very badly. So after some time, the parents were able to get the money together and they got him a horse. From a short story. His friends said, that's good. But the Zen master said, we'll see. Not a very optimistic Zen master, is he? Some years later, when he was 15 years old, the young man was riding his horse. As he was riding, he fell off and broke his leg. <gasps> oh no, it mended poorly so that he always walked with a limp. Oh, maybe that Zen master was onto something. See, it ain't that good now, is it? <laughs> is it, teenager? His friend said, that's bad. The Zen master said, we'll see. Oh yeah, sure, Zen master, now's the time to be optimistic. Then the war broke out, like World War II? Anybody who was eligible to be drafted was drafted. Young men from the neighborhood all had to go, comma. Oh, here we go. Except for this young man who had injured himself during the fall from his horse. So when the neighbors and friends heard the young man was exempt because of his leg, they said, that's wonderful. The Zen master said, we'll see. Okay, what's up with the Zen master here? Do you know the story about the Zen master and the little boy? Oh, is this some from Nitsa, the Greek witch of Aqualippa, Pennsylvania? Maybe? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it is. Tension. What did the Zen master mean? It didn't seem to bode well. But that's life. The other day on the radio, I heard someone talking about a writer. He said the tensions of life are very real because no one knows what's going to happen in the next three hours. Because I'm not psychic, I'm tense. The master. That's how it is when you don't know what's going to happen and what's to come. Life is a delicious morsel because you never really know what's going to happen. I guess unless you're the Zen master. Zen master. At certain times in your life, Things are more up in the air than at other times. You don't say. When they are, you're living on the edge. Your nerves are frayed. Or sometimes you're being pushed too fast for what you can do. If you don't get it done, you wonder, then what? Because you don't know. Ah, stupid people not knowing what the future holds. These are the tensions of living. The master. This is what the world is for. It's a place filled with such tensions. Why? Because it's the nature of karma. This is a schoolroom. It's a garden, really. It's a garden where everyone can grow spiritually according to his own lights. What challenge in your life has actually brought you a blessing? Are we supposed to answer that question? Is that what this story was for? What happened to the kid and the horse? here is growing. Unfolding is more proper at our own spiritual pace, okay? I'll even go so far as to say that the Holy Spirit is directing each of our lives. It will lead you and has led you into the very life and circumstances you need, the ones which are very good for you. You may not think so, but they're very good for you. He said that it's very good for you and therefore it is! Maybe not materially or emotionally or mentally, but spiritually, they're very good for you. My whole thing is if something's not good for you materially, emotionally, or mentally, should it then be good for you spiritually? I mean, what type of cult is this? They're like, in order to be spiritual, you need tension and pain. 
Actually got some pretty flowers, I guess, on the pages. We're on to page six, by the way. We're on to page seven, by the way. Try a spiritual exercise. Relax and restore. Are they not gonna tell us what spiritual exercise we're supposed to be doing? Or is this a spiritual exercise? I don't know what's going on. The mind can overreact to the rush of everyday living, leaving us on edge and out of sorts. Now that I can relate to. We forget that help is as near as a few moments in contemplation. At least once a day, let the sound and light of God enliven you with spiritual impulses. Gently sing who? And the silent wind of God will enter the sacred temple of consciousness in your hearts. Ooh. I, I don't know, that makes me more tense. How to sing who? With eyes open or closed, take a few deep breaths to relax. Oh, I forgot that part. Maybe that's why. <gasps> <gasps> then begin to sing who? Pronounce like the word hue in a long drawn out sound <gasps> take another breath <gasps> and sing who again <gasps> you can continue for up to 20 minutes you want me doing this for 20 minutes Sing you with the feeling of love and it will gradually open your heart to God. Once tensions relax, it is just moments until the healing current of spirit begins to restore you. Hold on, when I'm tense, I just sing you and then that will make it so that I'm not tense anymore? You represents the enormous love that the creator has for its creation. What's you? Sacred sound. Ancient mantra. Nowhere to go but up, and this is by David Simon. So, not Harold for once. My job as a helicopter pilot for the Department of Natural Resources in Washington State was quite routine. <laughs> Unless there was a forest fire, one afternoon I was called to help put out a blaze roaring out of control. All went well, but suddenly during my third trip into a remote canyon to drop a bucket of hundreds of gallons of water, the wind shifted. That shifty wind. As I released the water onto the fire and pulled hard to climb out of the canyon, the helicopter balked. I pulled all the power I could, mindful of the steep canyon walls and the fire below. Blades turning uselessly, the helicopter failed to respond. I could see the fire below me. We need to pour more water on it. As I slipped closer to the canyon wall in an inevitable crash, I realized the odds of making it out alive were practically non-existent. Yet he's somehow here to tell the story. The helicopter was now inches from the wall. Build a wall! Okay, my hunter, I thought, focusing on the divine love of my spiritual God. If it's my time, at least I get to go doing something I love. Ever try to let go of a situation and let love handle it? I don't think that would have worked here with this guy going down in a plane, I'm just saying. Just as I spoke these words of surrender, a force took hold of the helicopter. Suddenly it was scooped up as if by John Hamm, like a child lifts a toy. Let me guess, it was God's hand. The aircraft rose over the canyon rim, away from the fire and the sheer cliff walls. I was worried about the rotors catching on the treetops. But I passed them with these two. Or even my water bucket, which could have easily caught on one of the trees and pulled me back into the canyon, swung free, trailing at the end of its 20-foot line and gliding perfectly between two trees. Seems like an r slash that happened moment. I landed my aircraft, shaken and amazed at what had just happened. None of the other pilots would believe me if I told them. I don't believe you either. Such an event defied the laws of physics. That's why. <laughs> I realize not the laws of divine spirit. With gratitude, I thank the Mahanta for rescuing both me and my aircraft that day. Yeah, we were really worried that the aircraft was going to get ruined. <laughs> Miracles are possible whenever we can surrender to the spirit of love. Every experience is a teacher. Keep up with your spiritual exercises. They open your heart to love divine. Harold Klimp. That's, that's all for this page, I guess. Oh, look. Is, is this a, a picture of it? 
Did, did we manage to get a, a picture of this happening? I doubt it, but here's a picture of a helicopter. Soul adventure questions for Harold. How can I improve my intuition, especially in these confusing and challenging times? We can get so upset about the social, political, spiritual, and religious issues that we lose our balance. Our political leaders may say what is up is down and what is down is up. Okay. By chanting you, you keep your perspective. You say, this is the ash can of the universe, but we are here to do the best we can to make it a garden if possible. Imagine being like, I'm the ashtray of the universe and we're just gonna make it. I wanna make it with you. Saying you. It can allow, through dream experiences, intuition, or other means, a way for the inner master to get through to you. The inner master can let you know which way's up and which way's down. A master. You can raise your spiritual IQ with you. A love song to God. I don't believe in real IQ, so I really don't believe in spiritual IQs, but maybe that's just my atheist ass. So basically, uh, the answer here is sing Hugh and all your problems will be solved. Do they have anything else for us? Now on page 13. Often the master will say, hey, this stuff has been going on for centuries and it's going to go on for centuries more. For reflection, has the power of intuition helped you in a time of crisis? I feel like everyone's has, and that has nothing to do with spirituality. Are they gonna tell me that my intuition is God now speaking to me? If you recognize that this is part of the human condition and can accept it, if you can do that and keep your wits when others around you are losing theirs, then you've gained spiritually in this lifetime. You just know how to cope well. These things are the realities of everyday living. These are the things that test soul. These are the things that test you. Yeah, this book is testing me. You can protect. You can give love. You can heal. It can give peace of mind. That doesn't mean forever. No, no, gotta keep singing it. It just means that if you face a crisis of one kind or another, Remember to chant you. Yeah, it doesn't help me. I don't know. Sacred sound. Ancient mantra. Ek membership. Advanced spiritual living courses. Go higher, further, deeper on your path of spiritual self-discovery. What will you experience? This ever-expanding adventure can bring you personal transformation from the moment you begin. This includes monthly self-discovery courses with advanced spiritual techniques for private study. Opportunities to explore the courses and small group discussion classes. Quarterly letter and updates from a God-realized teacher with timely perspectives. What does a God realized teacher mean? Does that mean that God came down from heaven and was like, yes, this one, this person right here, they're a teacher. Spiritual initiations, profound steps of enlightenment, a community of like-hearted people who respect spiritual freedom and love truth. They just ended up in a cult somehow that believes in nothing truthful. Opportunities for further spiritual training and service. Yay, so you're doing training for opportunities to more training. Awesome. Start your Eck adventure. AdvancedSpiritualLiving.org Membership services 1952-380-2222 Eck and Car, the path of spiritual freedom. And um, th that's it. That is the entire book. What did we get out of this book? Basically, if you are stressed, you can just sing who? <laughs> And then that will will stop you from living a, a life of tension and being stressed. Even if you're in a damn helicopter and it's going down, just sing this and everything will be okay. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's more spiritual living courses that you can take with this cult. You just got to join them and get a membership and you're all good to go. So everyone, that is one of the e-booklets from Ekinkar. I do plan on reading through all of them as we go forward and I dive deeper into 
attachment to this cult and of doing a little bit of a deep dive video into the cult just so that I can go into more detail about Harold Clamp and what this cult is really all about. But I thought it would be fun if we came on here and read one of the e-booklets because that also gives us a little bit of an insight into what they believe here, which as we found out today is that the song who is just the answer for everything. Let's see if that theme keeps up throughout all of the books. I suspect it will be. Please do give this video a like, subscribe if you are new here. I would love it if you join our fabulous, amazing members. All of the beautiful people do, and you don't want to be ugly like Harold Clemp, so make sure you hit that join button. The man is a cult leader, and he's a creepy dude. Again, we're going to get into that more in future. But for now, I hope that everyone has a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous day. Take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon for the next one. Mwah! Bye! And remember, don't join a fucking cult! Do you know the story about the Zen master and the little boy? Oh, is this some from Nitsa, the Greek witch of Aqualippa, Pennsylvania? Maybe? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it is. There's a little boy, and on his 14th birthday, he gets a horse. And everybody in the village says, how wonderful, the boy got a horse. And the Zen master, Zen master says, we'll see. Two years later, the boy falls off the horse, breaks his leg, and everybody in the village says, how terrible. And the Zen master, Zen master says, we'll see. Then a war breaks out, and all the young men have to go off and fight, except the boy can't because his leg's all messed up. And everybody in the village says, how wonderful. And the Zen master, Zen master, as we'll see. So you get it. No. No, 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 because I'm stupid. Seems like an r slash that happened moment. This is the ash can of the universe, but we are here to do the best we can to make it a garden if possible. Imagine being like, I'm the ashtray of the universe and we're just gonna make it. I wanna make it with you.